Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice, if you're new here. I make videos about slow fashion, minimalist living, as well as motherhood. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. So today's video is more of a motherhood and baby kind of video, and I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my must-have baby items. So before we get started, I just wanted to say that although I'm calling this list a must-have list, just use this list as more of a guideline for yourself when you are purchasing items for your baby, because every mother's different, every family is different, and most importantly, every baby is different. I just had my first baby and he is now just a little bit over seven months. I thought it'd be fun to take a look back at the newborn stage and just go through items that I thought were really essential and useful. When I was pregnant, my husband and I did a ton of research on YouTube and I watched a lot of videos like this to kind of help guide the purchases that we made as well as decide what items we wanted to put on our registry. After all that and after seven months of being a mama, I wanted to share with you the items that I thought were really useful for me during the early stages and even now. All right, so let's get started with the list. So first off, I want to start with clothing. You really don't need to buy a lot of clothing because in my case at least, I had no idea how big my baby was gonna be. And also my baby ended up being a small baby. So although he was not a preemie, he was a small baby. So we ended up even having to buy preemie clothing because he didn't even fit into his newborn clothing. If you are going to buy clothing, I would recommend just getting a small amount and then when you're baby is born you can go from there. With clothing I also highly recommend getting hand-me-downs or looking for clothing secondhand because your baby just grows so fast and they're gonna grow right out of those cute clothes so just don't get too hung up on the clothing. The other thing is that clothing is like the first thing that people will buy you. Everyone loves buying cute clothes for babies so we got a ton of clothing from people from our registry or they just added it to their gift because who doesn't love buying cute little clothes for babies? If you're gonna buy clothing I also highly recommend just getting onesies and sleepers because they're easy to change out of, baby is comfortable in them, and it just allows them to move freely as they grow as well. So next up, I'm gonna talk about nursing products. This is more for the mamas out there. My top nursing product, well, this is very hard. I can't really say my top because I have a couple, but very high up on the list is the Hakka silicone pump. It was great for just collecting letdown and it's a really easy way to build your milk stash. So I highly recommend getting the Hakka. The next step is to have a really good nursing pillow that is adjustable around your waist. So I had one of those that just strapped on originally and it just didn't work for me. It depends on your body, it depends on your baby, there's like a lot of different factors. If you have friends that have different nursing pillows, I would recommend just asking if you can borrow them for the first couple of weeks and just figure out which one you like before actually purchasing it. Because I got one from my registry and I thought it was cute, I had no idea which nursing pillow would be good and it ended up just not really working out for me as a nursing pillow. I now use that as a lounger. So now that baby can sit up, it can prop him up. But I actually preferred the breast friend. I will leave this product down below. The one I got originally was the Boppy pillow, which just kind of like hugs your waist and it doesn't have a strap. And I found that to be really difficult because my baby just kept slipping into the crack or the pillow would just not sit properly and it made nursing really difficult, especially as a first time mom. Breastfeeding is hard enough, so I recommend just getting a good breastfeeding pillow because that will make a huge difference in your nursing journey. So the next item are burp cloths. And this item is kind of dependent on your baby, whether they spit up a lot or not. My baby <laughs> spat up a lot and we changed our burp cloths at every feed. So they were really useful for us. What I would recommend is maybe buying a, one small pack and then going from there. If you find that your baby spits up a lot and you find them useful then you can purchase some more. So the next thing is to have a really good breast pump because having a good breast pump will help you when your milk comes in and you want to build your stash or if you decide to um, exclusively pump a breast pump is extremely useful to have around so make sure to invest in a good one. Next I'm going to talk about some sleep items. So the most important thing is a sound machine. Make sure you get a sound machine. It's a great way to drown out any noise that may wake your baby up. There's always a lot of construction in our area and the sound machine is a game changer. So the sound machine that we have is the Hatch, which we really love. It has a little night light and there's different sounds as well that you can pick from. We choose the washing machine sound, but you can choose whatever sound you like. I will leave the one that we have in the description box below. And then the next item are sleep sacks and sleep gowns. A sleeping gown is like a shirt, but it has no legs. So there's just like a big hole at the bottom, which we found really helpful in the newborn stage where we had to change the diaper all the time in the middle of the night and just make diaper changes really quick and simple 
people at night without waking up the baby too much. Other thing are sleep sacks. So I know some people swear by swaddles, which I do love, but I don't love swaddles for sleeping. And they also kind of annoyed my husband because they were so difficult to wrap and he just hated them. So what we went with were sleep sacks where it's just a simple zipper and sometimes it has a Velcro. We love the ones by Halo. Um, there are some other options as well, um, which I will leave down below. Okay, so the final item in the sleep category are blankets and swaddles. I know I know I mentioned that we use sleep sacks and sleep gowns, but swaddles are great because they are a really multi-use item. You can use them just as a traditional swaddle, or I like to have a couple in my diaper bag so that if I'm ever on the run, I can just lay out a blanket for my baby to be on the floor. They make a really great extra layer in case it's cold, or um, you can use it to block out the sun. You can use it as a nursing cover. You can also use it to play. So there are a lot of uses for a blanket or um, swaddle. I will link a couple that I really love myself. So I would definitely have a couple of swaddles on hand, but I wouldn't say to go all out and buy like 20 of them. All right, so next up, I'm gonna kind of go through some baby hygiene type items. So the first one is a nail filer. So a nail filer is a game changer. Having to clip baby nails is so scary. So our friends recommended a nail filer and while they bought it for us, it has been so helpful. We haven't had any issues with trimming his nails because this filer makes things so easy. So I have highly recommend these over traditional nail clippers. The next item is a wipeable change pad. We have the Kikaru peanut changer and it is more of a splurgy item but it has been so useful and it's so easy to clean because of that wipeable material. You don't have to change the cover and buy an extra thing, buying an extra cover and then you don't have to do extra laundry. You just have to wipe it down and it's good to go. It's also really sturdy and stays in place on top of the dresser. So I think it's a really good investment if you are looking into a change pad. Next up are two travel items. The first one is having a really good stroller. We bought our second hand. We have the Epa Baby Vista. I'm not sure which year. Once I find out, I will put it on the screen. It's super handy. It's just so easy to get in and out of the car. We really love our stroller, but I actually really love baby wearing and I have a couple of different types of baby carriers. So I highly recommend carriers because it keeps baby close to you. It's really great for bonding. And for me, I just find it easier to just pop my baby in the carrier instead of having to like take the car seat out and put them on the stroller. It's just a lot simpler for me to have baby right up on my chest nice and close. So when my baby was a newborn, I love the Solly Baby wraps. It keeps baby really nice and tight up on your body. And because he was so small, he couldn't fit into a lot of other type of carriers until he gained a lot more weight. So the wraps were perfect. And then now that he's a bit heavier, I love the Sakura Bloom Scout Carrier. I use it all the time. We go on walks every day. You can wear a baby at home while you do chores. It's just super handy to have around. So I highly recommend having some kind of baby carrier. So the last item is a soft mat or a soft surface for your baby to lay on. I just love laying out a couple blankets or just having a mat so he can be free to move his arms and legs as well as observe his environment. I highly recommend getting a really nice mat as well as a play gym. Play gyms are really great. I have this one from Coco Village which I can move around and you can also change out the items on the gym. It's a really fun item for babies to play with as they grow and develop and also now that my baby is sitting up he can sit up and play with it. So it is an item that you can use for longer than just a couple of months. So those are my must-have items for a baby and I hope you found this list helpful. I'll try to link everything in the description box below if you are interested in the products that I use. Let me know if this list was helpful for you and if you have items that you think are extremely necessary, please leave them in the comments below so others can read about your experience as well. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I'm strong, right?